Hello, and welcome to Citation Basics, where you will learn how to create citations for websites, books, ebooks, and electronic and print journals according to the Modern Language Association or MLA style. Most citations include the following elements author, title, date it was created, and publisher. Depending on the citation format, you may have to list additional details, and the author's name always appears as last name, first name. It is necessary to provide a citation every time you quote, paraphrase, or summarize another person's words or ideas. MLA webpage citations follow this format. If the page has an author, place the name here. If not, this section may be omitted. The title of the page or online article appears in quotation marks. Place the name of the website in italics. The institution or organization affiliated with the site's sponsor or publisher goes here. This information is usually located at the bottom of the page. If neither is specified, simply put NP. Note the date that the web page was published or updated. Use as much of the date as you can find. If no date is listed, use ND for no date. Place the publication format here. Web pages and sites will always be web. Email and tweet are other examples of online formats. Finally, type the date you accessed the website. MLA book citations follow this format. After the author, the main title of the book is italicized and every major word is capitalized. The location of the publisher is just written as the city. Include the year of publication followed by a period. The format or medium of publication goes last. MLA ebook citations follow the same format, but notice the medium and date of access. If you are reading an ebook on a Kindle, Kindle file goes here. Alternatively, you might write EPUB, Adobe Digital Editions, or even PDF. The last part of the citation is the date you access the ebook. MLA online journal citations follow this format, beginning with the author. If there are more than three authors, place et al. after the first name. The main title of the article goes in quotation marks and every major word is capitalized. Journal titles are always italicized and every major word is capitalized. Then indicate the volume number and issue number if available with a period and no space between them. Place the publication date in parentheses followed by a colon. You can just use the year or if a month is given, you may abbreviate the month. Just stay consistent with whichever you choose. Note the page numbers of the article here. Place the type of journal article or publication format here. Online journal articles will be web. Print journal articles will be print. Finally, type the date you accessed the online journal, unless it's a print journal. Print journal citations are formatted just like those for online journals. However, note that there is no need to provide the date accessed at the end. Congratulations! you should now be able to identify the different components of MLA style citations.